Welcome to the week ahead. Headlines. Sri Lanka in final stages of external debt restructuring. Minister Seymour Singh had to attend OPEC Fund Development Forum. Chongqing Airlines to resume flights to Colombo. In a major development towards concluding external debt restructuring talks, this week Sri Lanka is expected to sign a final deal with bilateral creditors by way of a memorandum of understanding. The bilateral creditor group consists of Paris Club and non-Paris Club members who hold around $11 billion of external debt. Further, Sri Lanka is also expected to conclude debt talks with the bondholder group, who accounts for around 34% of external debt. Timely conclusion of external debt restructuring talks is essential for the nation to continue economic recovery and attract foreign direct investments. On Tuesday, Shahan Semasing, her Minister of Finance, will attend the Development Forum hosted by OPEC Fund in Vienna, Austria. The forum will focus on delivering solutions to achieve sustainable development under the themes enhancing institutional capital, accelerating investment in smart infrastructure and developing human capital. Outcomes from the forum are expected to accelerate progress towards achieving the global sustainable development agenda, including climate change issues. Today, China's Chongqing Airlines will resume its services to Colombo, operating three weekly flights after a four-year hiatus due to COVID-19. Chongqing is the largest commercial and industrial centre in southwest China. The resumption of services is expected to boost cultural, investment and tourism exchanges between the two nations. Currently, China remains the fifth largest source market for Sri Lanka, having welcomed over 60,000 arrivals. And that's a wrap for this week. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest developments in Sri Lanka. Until next time, have a great day.